Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Get up, son. Good morning, good morning, good morning, family. Six people have shared the broadcast so far. May God richly bless you and make you partakers of the blessing connected to those that share his word. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Linda. Good morning, the other Linda. Good morning, chosen one. Good morning, Flo. Good morning, gathering of intercessors. Good morning, Gwen. Good morning, Lavon. Good morning, P. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Good morning, Flo. Good morning, Faith. Good morning, Red Tactilo. Good morning, Chica. Good morning, She's King. Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, Pile. Good morning, Audrey. God bless you. 16 people have shared the broadcast so far. May God richly bless you and honor you. And make you a partaker of the blessing that's connected to those that share the gospel. I'm excited in my spirit tonight. To this morning, this afternoon, depending on whatever time zone you're connecting from. It's early morning right here in Cape Town and it's a rainy day. So it's very gloomy and dark. It still feels like night. <laughs> if you're in Johannesburg, you know it's been raining cats and dogs. Ooh. You know, it's been raining cats and dogs in Johannesburg, but it's beautiful. We love to see it. We need the rain. So, Father, we just want to thank you this morning. We celebrate you for this word that has me excited in my spirit. It's gotten me excited in my spirit because you were also challenging me as I was receiving this word. You were challenging me to step out of the comfort zone. You were challenging me to think outside of the box. You were challenging me to find solutions even in places where I've been feeling like there's no solutions. You were challenging me to know that there is always a way, that you always make a way. Oh, Father, this morning, let your heart, the hearts of your people be open, open to this word, open to what it is about to do in the inside of them, open to the inspiration it brings open to the new ideas it brings in the name of Jesus. I pray this morning that is we're about to get into the word and into prayer. May you begin to shatter our limiting beliefs in the name of Jesus. I pray that as we start this week, Father, we're going to start this week with a new mentality and an excitement in our spirit because, Father, we're stepping into new ter terrain in you, in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. King of glory, this morning, take lordship, take rulership over this broadcast. Have your way. Father, we, we take charge of the ground. We take charge of the airwaves. And we pray that let there be no disturbances. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Tag a friend along who you haven't seen on the broadcast this morning. We're about to go on a journey. And I pray that um, everybody does not miss what God has in store for us this morning. So if you have your Bibles with you, I want you to turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5 verse 17 to 26. We're going to be reading about the story of the paralytic. The, the story where Jesus heals the paralytic. And my message this morning is creative solutions. Woo. It's going to get good in a minute creative solutions. I want to prophesy over you that as you step into the week, God is giving you creative solutions to some of the problems that you have been struggling with. 
I want to prophesy over you that in that situation, you have not been seeing a way out. God is giving you creative solutions and ability by way of the spirit to see a way where there seemed to be no way. I want to prophesy over you that as you step into this new week, God is endowing you with new eyes that are capable of seeing possibility. New eyes that are capable of seeing new doors. New eyes that are capable of seeing solutions, creative solutions. So I'm entitling today's word, Creative Solutions. And we are in the book of Luke chapter 5, verse 17 to 26. If somebody could type that in the comment section, I will pin it. God bless you as you do so. Now scripture tells us in the book of Luke chapter 5, we're starting from verse 17. It says, one day Jesus was teaching. God bless you, Elmadri. Let me pin that. It says, one day Jesus was teaching. And scripture says, and the Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there. People had come from Jerusalem and from every village of Galilee and Judea. And scripture says, and the power of the Lord was present for him to heal the sick. Ah, I love that. I love that. Scripture says on this particular day, power had been made available for Jesus to heal the sick. Prayer governors, do you know that there are times when we step into environments where power has been made available? But even in that environment, we are going to face some difficulties. We are going to face some roadblocks. We are going to face some bottlenecks. We are going to face uh, uh, some resistance. The Bible says power had been made available for Jesus to heal the sick. Power had been made available for Jesus to heal the sick, which means that according to heaven's calendar, ah, according to heaven's roster of resources, resources had been delivered on earth for the sick to be healed. But we're about to find a man who even though power had been made available to heal, can't find his way to Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We're about to find a man who even though power had been made available by heaven on that day to heal, he can't access Jesus for his healing. Prayer governors, there are some things that you are praying for. Heaven has already released the resources. It's going to require a creative mind to gain access to those resources. Scripture says power had been made available. You mean to tell me that I'm praying for financing for my business. I've made an application to the bank and here I am. I'm still praying and fasting. Ah, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had food in two weeks. I am praying. I am fasting. I am, I am going up the mountain every Saturday morning. And the Bible says power had been made available for the sick to be healed on the day. There are some times when you are in an environment where your blessing, your breakthrough has already been released, but it's going to require you to have a creative mind to gain access to that which God has already released. There are times when you're going to need to be creative in nature. You're going to need to create creative solutions that gain you access to your healing, to your financing, to your breakthrough, to your deliverance. So power had been made available on this day. Verse 18 says, just then some men carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. They tried to bring him inside to, to set him before Jesus. But verse 19 says, but they could not find a way. Is there somebody on this broadcast that cannot find a way? Is there somebody on this broadcast that cannot find a way? You're saying, woman of God, I've been knocking on any, every door, but I cannot find a way. I've been applying to all schools, but I cannot find a way. I've been applying to the banks for financing, but I cannot find a way. 
I've been trying to find ways to navigate around my problem, but I cannot find a way. But isn't it strange that in the exact same uh, in the same in the exact same uh, chapter, the Bible says power had been made available on this day for Jesus to heal the sick. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And yet there was somebody in the audience that could not find a way. Prayer governors, isn't it strange that in the same economy where we are struggling with our families to meet, to make ends meet, some people are driving in Bentleys, <laughs> some people are driving in Lamborghinis, some people are driving in a Porsches, hello somebody, some people are driving in uh, Mercedes Benz and BMWs, some people are living in the most, in, in the in the top tier uh, communities of, 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 of our environments. Isn't it strange that in the exact same place where power had been made available for Jesus to heal the sick, there was a man and his friends who could not find a way. I want to make a prophetic declaration this Monday morning that some of you this week, God is about to give you a creative mind that is able to bring about creative solutions. God is going to give you grace to find a way where there seemed to be no way. God is giving you grace to step into that environment and figure out a way. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The Bible says they tried to bring him inside to set him before Jesus, but they could not find a way through the crowd. Now, I don't know about you, but many of us on this broadcast, probably me included, when we don't find a way, the ordinary way, when we don't find a way, the front door, Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. When we don't find a way in the way we imagined to find a way, when we don't find a door where we expected to find a door, when we don't receive a yes in the office where we expected to receive a yes, many of us, our minds completely shut down. That's right. Somebody says in the comment section, my brother stays in an estate, but here I am fighting for an RDP home. For those who don't know an RDP home, it's a South African system of empowering its, uh, its, its, its locals. So they build them homes and they give the homes for free. So she's saying, I'm fighting for a free home, a free government home. And here my brother is living in an estate. Because you could be in an environment where power has been made available to heal. Power has been made available. There is, there is power, uh, there is power made available, but you don't have access. Ooh, it's going to get good in a moment. The Bible says they could not find a way through the crowd. They, they could not find a way through the crowd. Somebody right here, you're saying, woman of God, I can't find a way. I see that other people are gaining access to the exact same thing I'm looking for. I, I see that other people are knocking on doors and they're, and they're opening. I see that other people are closer to opportunity than I am. There were people that were sitting closer to Jesus on that day. And I can imagine that while standing outside of the door, these men say to themselves, listen, listen, we have to find access. Some of you, when you step into environments where opportunities don't seem or appear to to be readily available, you immediately shut down. I want to pray over your mind this morning that the Lord will not make you a quitter, that, 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 that the Lord will not make you one that is easily faced by life's difficult moments. That in moments where you have easily, easily just given up, that you are stepping into a new season where you are, God is going to give you grace to have a creative mind that produces creative solutions. I know it didn't work this way, but I'm going to stand here until God gives me another way to make this thing happen. There is an entrepreneur right now about to close shop. Because your mind does not have the capacity to have creative solutions produced out of it. The moment you see a hurdle, you immediately shut down. Your system shuts down. If these were some of your friends, they could have immediately said, listen, it's a cold night. You are a paralyzed man. We looked for a way, but we couldn't find a way. So let us go back home. 
Let us get you into the comfort of what is familiar to you. Let us get you into the comfort of your, of your space. We tried the best we could. At least we can say we tried. But these said, these ones said, listen, we have stayed with you for many years. We have watched you with many dreams and many potentials. We have listened to you talk and we know you are a brilliant mind. We know that if Jesus could just help you and heal you from this paralysis, the man that God has always ordained for you to be. I don't know about you, but I need this kind of friends around me. I need the kind of friends who tell me, listen, Melody, I know right now you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't see the opportunities. You don't see the solutions, but, but, but I want want you to stay in that moment of prayer. I want you to stay there and I want you to ask yourself, is there no other creative solution around this? I don't know about you, but I need friends who keep me right close to the proximity of Jesus. I don't know about you, but I need friends who are willing to break a couple of rules to make sure that I get my deliverance. I don't know about you, but I need friends who are willing to spend a couple of nights in prayer with me, breaking some walls to make sure I get my healing. The Bible says they could not find a way through the crowd. This is verse 19. The Bible says, so they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles into the middle of the crowd, right in front of Jesus. Ay, 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 ay. What is, a cre what is creativity? Creati creativity is the use of imagination. It is, the, it, is, it, it is producing original ideas to create something. It is the ability to step out of the box, to break the walls of the box and say, God, is there another way to get this done? I want someone to type prophetically, I have a creative mind this week. I have a creative mind this week. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I have a creative mind this week. I, I, I'm tired of giving up on business ideas just because I faced a hurdle. I'm tired of giving up in corporate just because I faced a hurdle. I'm tired of giving up on my health just because one doctor gave me a, a certain diagnosis. I'm tired of giving up. I'm tired of giving up. I'm tired of giving up on my hustle, my side hustle, just because I faced a small hurdle. I have a creative mind this week. I have a creative mind. A creative mind thinks outside of the box. A creative mind produces creative solutions. They say to themselves, oh, Okay, we can't find access in the original way through which people enter a home. But baby, we're about to make a way. I can't find a way, so I'm about to make a way. Why is it that every time you can't find a way, there is, there is no elasticity in your mind that allows you to step into a new realm where you say, if I can't find a way, let me begin to look for a way. Why is your mind not elastic enough? Why does it not have a, a, a elasticity? It doesn't have flexibility enough to continue to keep going even when you can't find a way immediately. The Bible says they tried to bring him inside and set him before Jesus, but they couldn't find a way through the crowd. So they decided, oh, well, we're going to find a new way. The Bible says, so they went up on the roof and they lowered him on the mat. Prayer governors, desperation can lead two different people two different ways. Some of you are desperate this morning. Some of you are desperate this month. Desperation can either lead you to become, number one, immobilized. Or it can lead you to become creative. I want to make a prophetic declaration this morning. That pertaining you, pertaining your household, pertaining your job, pertaining your business, pertaining your health, pertaining your academics, you are going to become the creative mind. You are going to become a creative mind. You will no longer be paralyzed standing in front of your problem with no solutions. God is about to give you supernatural creativity. 
God is about to give you supernatural creativity, a mind that says, if I can't get in through the day, through the door, I'm about to go up the roof and make a way. Ooh, I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. So you have two options. You can either become immobilized. You can either become paralyzed. You can become disheartened and discouraged. You can become frustrated and fatigued. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Or you can choose. God, the door is closed on me, but give me a creative way around this matter. Somebody in the comment section says, you're talking to me, Melody. Give me a creative way around this matter. Why am I in an economy where other people are getting the very same thing that these people are saying no one has access to? Prayer governors, desperation made them find a way. Desperation made them create a way. Desperation made them look for a way and make a way to Jesus. They said, we're about to get up this roof. And if we have to tear this roof up and look for a coat and, and ask the owner of the house to give us a coat tomorrow. Some of you, the, 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 the risks you are not willing to take are not compared to what you are losing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. These men likely paid for that roof the next day. Let me tell you something. These men likely gathered around money the next day to make sure that that roof was fixed. But guess what? They had a healed friend. Some of you, you are not desperate enough. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Some of you, you are not willing to break a couple of protocols. Some of you, you are not willing to find a new way. They say, someone once said, listen, I'd rather say I'm sorry after I'm done. <laughs> as long as I don't go to jail for it. As long as it's not illegal, hello, somebody, <laughs> hello, somebody, I would rather say I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I would rather say I'm sorry for walking into the meeting to tell you my matter. I would rather say I'm sorry for bugging you when you were busy working on something to my boss, but I have a matter that is desperate and I need you to listen to me. Some of y'all are too nice. Hello, somebody. Some of y'all people too nice. Too nice for your own good. Uh, you are too prim and proper for your own good. You, you follow things to the T for your own good. These men said, we, we're going to ask you to give us a quotation for the roof tomorrow. But as for today, we have a friend that's sick and we're about to tear this roof up. Desperation made them find a way. I don't know. Maybe you're not desperate enough. I don't know. May, maybe, maybe you're not desperate enough. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Scripture says the power of God was present on that day to heal. Ooh. The power of God was present on that day to heal. Can you imagine stepping into a week where the power of God is available for your business to get financing? Where the power of God is available for God to bring a fresh wind over your ministry to begin growing. Where the power of God is available for your child to gain access to that university that you have been applying for for the past few months. Where, the, where God has already released resources from heaven for your breakthrough to arrive. And yet you give up because you couldn't find a way. <laughs> you couldn't find a way where you were expecting to see it. You are giving up because the door was crowded. You are giving up because there were way too many people standing in line and standing in queue. You were discouraged and disheartened because way too many people were in line for the same thing. Uh, uh, the Bible says the power of God was present to heal. And can I propose to you this morning that it just required a creative mind. Can I just propose to you today that it required creative man to find access to Jesus because power was already available. I need somebody to get desperate enough on this altar of prayer this morning. I want you to make strange and weird prayers this morning. Lord, give me a creative mind. Lord, give me boldness and audacity and courage to knock on some new doors this, this week. I'm not going to knock on the door where I was denied. I'm going to knock on a new door, even if it means I have to escalate. 
we're working on a couple of things this uh, in this season as house of hosting heaven one of the things is our uh, hosting heaven conference and our hosting heaven conference is in november but we've already started planning We've already started planning and we, we are working on, 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 a, on, on a site, a ticket selling site. And on this particular ticket selling site, they told us that we need to wait 10 days for our payment gate to be processed. I said, 10 what? <laughs> I said, 10 what? We are, bring, we, 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 we are, we are bringing a, a, you in as a partner. So you can assist us with our, with our, with our payment gate. You are benefiting from us and you're, you want us to wait 10 days. Some of y'all, some, some of y'all too nice. So I sent an email. I said, I said, I said, thank you so much for your email. Thank you for the detail, but please escalate this matter. <laughs> escalate this matter to management because according to me, 10 days is too long to wait. Some, someone on this broadcast you were told to wait three months for something that can be done in two days and you kept quiet closed gates when power has been made available to heal some of you right now you were told may listen wait for another year you have a child that's waiting that's on that's on uh, that's on uh, uh, now the child has been forced to go on a on a, on a, on a they, what do they call them uh, uh, you know when when a child just stays at home for a whole year uh, but but it's not uh, uh, it's it's they don't want to they call them what they call them holidays they call them a gap year. Your child is on gap year. They, they, they didn't want to be on gap year. I understand someone whose child says, listen, mommy, I, I, I need some rest. <laughs> I want to I wanna, I wanna go on gap year. I want to I wanna experiment with some business. I want to experiment with entrepreneurship. That is a chosen response. Some of your children right now are depressed because they're on gap year. Why? Because you went carrying them in an environment where power had been made available and because you couldn't find a way through the door, you say to yourselves, you say to yourselves, uh, 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 listen, you say to yourselves, okay, we're going to do this next year. Now you have a child who's at home and who's depressed because you, your mind wasn't creative enough to knock on some new doors. I remember I went to school, all of, all of, our, all of us in our family, we went to school a year before. <laughs> My mother couldn't take no for an answer. I need some parents to stop taking no for an answer. I need some business people on this broadcast to stop taking no for an answer. To stop to taking a crowded door as a no. These men, these men said, we will ask you for an invoice tomorrow for this roof. But as for today, <laughs> we're we going to tear your roof up down. We, we are about to tear it up because we need our friend to be healed. Prayer governors, power had been made available for healing on that day. It just required a creative man to find ways and access to Jesus. When the way they planned did not work, these creative friends asked themselves, could there be another way? I want someone to stop, to stop giving up too quickly. I want someone this broadcast this morning. I'm sent an assignment on mandate to tell somebody you've been giving up too quickly. I'm sent an assignment to tell somebody you have been giving up too quickly. Could it be that there is another way? Could it be that your God can give you a creative mind that can begin to produce creative solutions even in your business? Prayer governors, the creative man understands that making a way will require effort. Sometimes making a way will, will, will cause you inconvenience. Uh, making a way sometimes will be hard, but they are not phased. They will say, listen, there is a way up that roof. We're going to go up that roof and we're going to figure it out. I need some of you to, de to develop staying power. I need some of you to, de to, to develop strong minds. I need some of you to develop staying power that allows you to stay in a place long enough to begin to see a way. Ah, yeah, 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 because power had been made available. And the creative man requires that it's going to need, need him to, to walk up the, 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 the roof and not just alone, but while carrying another paralyzed man.
The creative man thinks outside of the box. He, he thinks outside of the lines. The creative woman thinks outside of the boundaries. Don't be limited by a crowded door. Don't be limited by a long queue. Don't be discouraged because they told you there is a long waiting list for that organ that you need for organ replacement. D don't be intimidated. Don't be frustrated. My mother made sure every single one of us, every single, she found a way. <laughs> we were five and we're in, we were at school. We were five and all of us, we were at school at five. She said, none of these little rascals are going to be in my house at five. Go to school. <laughs> she said, I know, the, I know the door is crowded. I know many people have come knocking on this door. She, she had a creative mind. She found a way. Prayer governors, the creative mind is able to break the walls of the boxes to see possibility. And I've said this before. Last week I was talking and some of you were laughing. I said, do you, do you remember how creative you got when you, when you, when you were under the assumption that someone was cheating on you in a relationship? Woman of God, I'm, I'm not creative by nature. You know, I'm very structured. I'm, I'm an office kind of guy. In this economy, you still call yourself an office kind of person. In this economy, you, st you are still giving yourself these labels that you are not an entrepreneur. In this economy, in this economy, where you, you, you are struggling to pay just your rent, you, you are still putting yourself in boxes of limitation. Now, nah, woman of God, you know, some people are just graced with entrepreneurial skills. Woman of God, I can't sell. Who can sell? Even the person that's selling to you is also taking a chance. I don't know who I'm speaking to this morning. Some people say, woman of God, I'm not a good, I'm not a good salesperson. Who is a good salesperson? Point at them. Point at them and tell every person who comes to you selling something has their own limitations, their own insecurities, but they just have found a way to press through them because we are living in an economy where you can't keep t t telling these stories. I'm, I'm an office person, but at the end of the month, you are knocking on several doors to borrow money. You and your, you and your suit and your tie are driving over to your friends to borrow money and you keep telling people, ah, as for me, I'm not an entrepreneur, I can't sell. Do you remember how creative you got when you thought your spouse was cheating on you? <laughs> how you became a detective? Do you remember how, how proficient you, you became at lies when you were young and you wanted to explore the clubbing scene, when you wanted to explore that, that rebellious space? Do you remember the lies you told your mother and your father? Do you remember when you told them you were going to sleep over at a cousin's place? Now I'm taking some of you guys back to your teenage days. But you tell me you're not creative. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me you don't have the capacity to create a story. Ah, come on now. <laughs> come on now. Come on. Remember how creative you were with your stories when you were young. Some of you could write books and become bestsellers just by that creativity. But here you are. You are grown and, and life has, has, I don't know what life has done to you, but where did that creativity go? Remember when you wanted a sick, uh, sick, sick, when, when you wanted sick leave at work. I'm not talking about last year. I'm talking about last month. Remember when you wanted to do something and so you, 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 you created a story in your mind and you called your boss and you told him you were sick. Remember how creative you got. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and many of you say I'm not creative by nature. It's not that you lack creativity. You just give up on destiny defining matters. 
I need somebody to type that. I want someone to catch it by way of the spirit. It's not that you lack creativity, but 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 you 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 give up on destiny defining matters. These friends recognized that this moment was a destiny defining matter for their friend. They said if we don't become creative and look for another way, we will always be known as friends to that paralytic Uh, who am I speaking to this morning? Somebody says, that's me last week. I wanted to go to my cousin's wedding. So they became creative. Don't you ever tell me you don't have a creative mind. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just that you give up when it comes to destiny defining matters. There is something that happens to your spirit when you are faced with destiny defining matters. It's, it's as though something comes on you and you give up so quickly. Why? It's not that you lack creativity. Uh, prayer governors, we serve a man whose name is Jesus. And there was a day when he was at the seashores and he recognized that the crowd was too big. He recognized that the crowd was too big and yet still he had a word to release. He had a word to teach. He had a word on that day and he said, I'm going to release this word. The Bible says he asked for a boat. He asked for a boat and the Bible says he started sailing on the seashores, preaching the gospel. This is how creative Jesus was. He was able to go on a boat and start sailing through the seashores just so he could preach a message. And, and just so people, everybody could get a fair chance to hear what he was saying. Jesus had a creative mind. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this morning I prophesy the mind of Christ over you. The mind of Christ is creative. The mind of Christ is creative. Araka de basinda navaka. The mind of Christ produces creative solutions. Who am I speaking to? This is the same man who the Bible says that the disciples came to him and they said, we have some debt to take care of. And the Bible says Jesus took a fish from the sea and, and, and he opened its mouth and out of its mouth came money. And he said, take this ma money and go pay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Jesus had cre always had creative solutions. In any high pressure situation you found Jesus, he would, he would have a creative solution for it. He would have a creative solution. I pray and I prophesy the mind of Christ over you as you begin the week. I pray and I prophesy the mind of Jesus Christ over you as you start the week. May God give you creative solutions. May God cause you to think outside of the box. May God cause you to find creative solutions even in the most strangest of places. One day the Bible says there was an adulterous woman and the crowd had dragged her out and they wanted to stone her. And scripture says Jesus was also present. And the Bible says they also wanted to use the opportunity to, uh, 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 to, to tie Jesus to this woman. And so they said, this woman has been adulterous. What should we do to her? And the Bible says, for some strange reason, Jesus didn't give a solution by mouth. He began to write down in the sand. He began to write down in the sand. Scripture tells us by the time Jesus was done writing in the sand, every person that had a stone had dropped it and began to walk away. There are some scholars who believes that, believe that as Jesus was writing in the sand, he was writing the sins of the, of the Sadducees. He was writing the sins of the temple leaders. He was writing all the things that they had done. Prayer governors, there are some environments that are so high pressure that you must be able to decipher what a solution looks like. Jesus understood that he couldn't just start speaking because everybody was shouting. Everybody's emotions were, were charged up. Everybody was ready to judge this woman. Jesus says, as everybody is screaming a solution, I'm going to write mine down. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I pray that this week God is about to give you creative ways to respond to high pressure incidences. God is about to give you creative ways to respond to circumstances that look like they have no way. By the time Jesus had finished writing, 
Do you know that there are times when your, your voice can carry emotion? A letter is better. You are in corporate. There are times when you, when it's easy, it's better for you to go and speak to someone face to face because it's more productive and more efficient. But there are times when you must have the wisdom to know when to write in the sand. I would rather write an email for this one. Number one, because there is now documented evidence of the conversation I had with you. Number two, I know that if we speak, we might get high on emotion. So I'm going to write an email. Why? Because at least an email will give you an opportunity to go back to my words. The Bible says Jesus wrote down in, in the sand. I, I, when I get to heaven, I want to understand what kind of emotional dynamics were taking place in that moment. But I pray and I prophesy that some of you are going to catch... Some of you are going to be able to read rooms this week and you are going to catch and find creative solutions to high pressure environments. Prayer governors, we serve a creative God and we have access to that same creative mind. We serve a creative Jesus and we have access to the mind of Christ. Prayer governors, the creative man is never out of options. Prayer governors, the creative mind always sees a way where there is none. The creative man always see a way even though the entrance is crowded. Even though the line, the waiting line is long. The creative mind, mind finds a way. It makes a way. The creative man, prayer governors, is a solution-bearing machine. Have you ever worked uh, with people in corporate who every time everybody else is, is discouraged, they just say, let's take a break and let's look for a way. They are, they are, uh, they are unfazed by the roadblocks of life. They are unfazed by difficult environments and difficult seasons. Whether in the workplace, whether in the academic space, whether at church and ministry, whether in business. The creative mind always looks for a creative solution. Uh, he is a solution bearing machine. The creative man understands when systems need changing. These friends said, listen, I, 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 wish, I wish the door was bigger, but it's not. I wish there wasn't a crowd as big as this one, but here we are. We're working with what we have. The creative man understands when, when, when there is need to change a system. They say to themselves, there's only one way in the house, but we're, we're about to make a second one. We're about to make a second one. Some of you, you are staring at systems that are archaic. Some of you, you're staring at systems that are, that, are, that, are, that, are, that are decades and centuries old. And here you are just staring at a system. But when a creative mind arrives, it says to itself, how can I make a way where there seems to be no way? The creative mind has thoughts, but also acts upon his thoughts. Some of you, you have great business ideas. In fact, some of you have been able to take these business ideas and you've been able to write them down on paper. You have your business idea on paper, but there is, there is a missing ingredient in your creativity. You don't have, you, you don't go after your thoughts. You don't go after your ideas. You don't act upon them. You don't act upon them. I'm sent an assignment to tell you somebody. I, I, I'm sent an assignment this morning to tell somebody for that debt. For you to finish paying that debt, you're going to need to have a creative mind. Hello, somebody. For you to finish off paying that revolving loan, you're going to need to have a creative mind. For you to finish off paying that mortgage. In a reasonable time, you are going to need to have a creative mind. For you to finish off paying that vehicle financing, you are going to need to have a creative mind. We are living in an economy where if you just depend, everything depends on your salary. You are going to be frustrated. 
You are going to be angry at life. You are going to constantly be murmuring and complaining. You are going to live your whole life borrowing. I'm sent an assignment to tell somebody today that debt is going to need, it's forcing you, it's placing you in a corner where you are going to need to place a demand on the creative mind that God has already given you. You're going to need to be creative. And, and, and prayer governors, can we talk about how some of you keep shunning people that sell things at work? How some of you keep shunning people that have an additional stream of income that, that come with, uh, 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 they, they, they're also selling hair, but they're an accountant. Hello, somebody. They're selling handbags, but they have, they're, they're, they're also a lawyer. You're, you're going to the same firm. Can we talk about how some of you keep shunning these people, but yet at the, at, at the end of the month, you are in their office asking for money. Ah, can we talk about it now? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I need to go. Maybe I'm done. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking to myself. I don't know. <laughs> Some of you keep shunning these people. Anytime you get an opportunity, you are always knocking on their hustle. And yet at the end of the month, they are the first offices you knock on when you are looking for a loan. They talk about you behind your back, but at the end of the month, they come to your office and then they ask you for money. They say, don't you know that, that one, the one that sells, uh, the, the, the one that sells, um, the, the one that sells, uh, I don't know, fitness products, uh, the one that sells Avon, the one that sells Herbal Life, the one that sells, I don't know what additional stream of income you have on, but some, some people keep knocking your side hustle and yet they keep asking for loans. We are living in an economy, prayer governors, where some of you are going to need to place a demand on the creative side of your brain. You cannot say any longer in this economy, I can't sell. You can no longer say in this economy, I'm not a business person by nature. We also used to say these things. We didn't know that power had been made available for us to become whatever it is. God, God gave whatever your mind can conceive. We didn't know that power had been made available, that we could become anything that God required us to be. Who am I speaking to? Can you believe that at your home, you have unlimited, uncapped Wi-Fi? And yet still you're struggling with that debt. And yet still you're struggling to make ends meet in this very same economy where we have 18 year olds who are becoming millionaires, multi-millionaires because of drop shipping. You don't need to have the product. You just need to connect the person with the product with the person that has the, uh, 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 the need. There are 18 year olds right now who are becoming multi-millionaires using their parents unkept Wi-Fi. You, you are paying for that unkept Wi-Fi in your house, but every single night, God keeps hearing you pray over and over again for financial breakthrough. Ah, <laughs> come on now. Power has been made available in the atmosphere for you to become whatever you can possibly be. With that same Wi-Fi, here you are watching YouTube videos of skits. You have decided to laugh your issues away. You have decided to watch comic videos and watch strange comic uh, movies. You are wanting to laugh your, your debt away. You are wanting to laugh the, the financial situation in your home away. Your wife is depressed. Your wife is thinking of divorce. Your wife has been speaking about divorce because the finances are not financing. But here you are. You have uncapped Wi-Fi at home. With the same kind of Wi-Fi, kids half your age can now send themselves to university. Why? Because of a creative mind. I need some of you to step out of the boxes you have placed yourself in. You told yourself I'm a lawyer. You told yourself I'm an architect. You told yourself I am an environment, uh, environmental, uh, uh, I'm a psychologist. You told yourself I'm a physician. You told yourself I'm a surgeon. But look at your bank account.
The Bible says, ah, 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 they were like children playing in the marketplace. There is a scripture that says, they are like children playing in the marketplace. One day I'll come back and I'll unpack that scripture. Imagine people in the marketplace, but their mentality is like that of children. In the place where other people are making, are, are making millions. Here you are playing. They were like children that played in the marketplace. On YouTube, where young kids are living extravagant lives because they are content creators. Well, woman of God, I'm not graced that way. There are some, some people with the exact same expertise as you as a lawyer who have YouTube platforms, who have been able to leverage on those YouTube platforms and created personal brands. Now companies are consulting with them and they are charging six-figure invoices for that consultation because they leveraged on that same platform. Because they were able to create a personal brand and create a name for themselves, leveraging on that which they already do. No, woman of God, I'm a doctor. There are doctors right now who are now earning more money online. Earning more money online from brand deals. Because they've been able to create a professional, a, a personal brand, a professional brand and leveraged on, the, on, on, on their degree program. Now, all of a sudden, the money they are earning from the surgery, the money they are earning from that, uh, go you can, you can spend the whole month complaining that you work in a government hospital as a doctor. And you, 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 you are expecting some of us who don't even have, make as much money as you to feel pity for you. <laughs> you are a doctor. You work in a, in a public hospital. So now you're coming to us and you are complaining. Some of us, don't, we don't even make the kind of man, money you're making there. So we don't understand your, your struggle. <laughs> Thinking outside of the box. The man said, the, 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 these friends, they said, the, the, the entrance is crowded. What can I do? There are some there are some lawyers right now, two years outside of university, you've never worked because your economy does not have jobs. Two years, you have just been sitting and complaining. You have just been sitting and you have become proficient at complaining. You have become a, a, a proficient complainer. <laughs> you have become you are become an expert at complaining. But in the same house you stay, your parents have given you unkept Wi-Fi. The creative mind. It is able to look around and say, listen, the door might not be open, but I'm going to create a new entrance. The door into, into the law space, into law firms might be closed. It might be crowded right now, but I'm going to create my own door. With the same car. That you have. Some people, as they drive to work, as soon as they get to work, they've made an arrangement with somebody to come and collect the car. Someone is doing Uber drives while they're at work. And when, when five o'clock arrives, that person drops off that, that, that car back into the garage. The creative mind, the creative mind says, what can I do with what I have? Some people right now, they have now created a community of people that they, it's, it's, it's the economy. You, you are either going to be known for borrowing or you are going to tap into the creative mind that the Lord has already made available for you. Some people are carpooling. Some people are creating a, a pick up a, 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 a communities. Six people in my neighborhood go the exact same way as I go to work. You go pick them up with that big car that you can no longer even pay for. Hello, somebody. What use is your, is your flashy car if the bank is about to take it? What use is your flashy car if your bank is about to repossess it? They've, they've found a way to look for people. These people pay a certain amount every month. 
it's 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 a part of the the money that they are using to pay for the financing the creative mind the creative mind says i can't seem to get through this door but how can i make a way Some, some of your kids right now are at school and they keep complaining. I, I can't, I can't seem to, I can't seem to, I can't seem to hear what, uh, the lecturer is too fast for me. Mom, the lecturer is too fast for me and the subject is so, is so difficult. But with that, with, with that, with that phone that you gave your child, if they hear a song they like, they are able to record the song so that they can try to figure out the name of the song. They can't think to themselves, maybe they can record this lecturer lecturing. I'm going to go to school early. I'm going to find a seat close to the lecturer. I'm going to record the lecture when I'm, when I'm on my way home in the Uber or on the bus. I'm going to re-listen to the lecture. No, they, they use the phone to record songs. In fact, they use the phone to record their, 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 they will leave the phone in the car when they think their boyfriends are cheating. <laughs> their mind is creative. It's just creative on things that are not destiny defining. <laughs> I, I, I'll leave the phone uh, when I go. I know my boyfriend is about to make a call. So I'm going to leave the phone in the car and then I'm going to go buy something there. When I come back, I'm going to listen to the voice. Vo I want to see what he was talking about. They are so creative, but they are creative about things that have absolutely no profit. <laughs> I wonder where they took it from. Did they not take it from you? <laughs> Did they not take it from you? Ah, come on, somebody. I don't know about you, but I want a creative mind. I don't know about you, but I want a creative mind. I remember there was a place I was working once. And there was this couple, it was, a, it was a husband and a wife. They used to work for the company that we were working for. And they'd found a way to actually um, elevate into senior management, Right? They, they, they've, they've lifted into senior management and then they just decided both of them to retire. And it was such a strange thing for me because I, I said, how can two people retire at the same time? It was so unheard of to me, you know? And then when I actually started digging deeper, I actually discovered that this particular couple had worked so long for this company that they had learned the ins and the outs of the company and so what they had done is that as they were now going to retire essentially they wanted more freedom with their time and they wanted more flexibility with their time because really out at the end of the day if you own your time you are wealthy so what they did is that they created a company that could provide a service to the company that we we're working for they looked at the supply chain. They say to themselves, how can we plug ourselves into the supply chain in such a way where we can be in the Maldives? Hello, somebody. We can be in the Maldives and on holiday and actually enjoying the works of our hands and still be able to make money out of it. So both of them retired at the same, t same time, but they had created a company that had now become a supplier to the company that we're in. This particular couple had, uh, uh, the company that they had uh, created was in a, in, in, they were offering a service where literally from anywhere you could offer the service. From anywhere you could offer the service. So now they've been able to retire. And now they can be anywhere in the world at any time and they can still do business. This time around, not as an employee, but as a supplier. Some of you, I want to make a prophetic declaration that the Lord has specifically, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm feeling this strong for somebody. The Lord has specifically plugged you into the company where you work so you can learn the system and you can find a way to actually create a solution that you can now start invoicing for. Hello, somebody. There is a reason why you, you get a salary without invoicing. You're not, a, you're not an entrepreneur. You become an entrepreneur when you start invoicing. Hello, somebody. When you start creating an invoice, I, I, I pray and I prophesy that your problems are going to begin to be different in the coming years. Your problems are going to be invoicing problems.
Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. They're not going to be. You didn't give me my salary, uh, my, 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 my pay slip. Uh -uh. They are going to be invoicing problems. So they moved from becoming employees and they became uh, consultants or suppliers to the company. Some of you, the Lord is placing you in environments where he needs you to have a creative mind. I love that. I can see there are people that are that are catching it. I can see there are light bulbs that are opening up. I know it's beyond our time, but I, I, I needed to release this word. I needed to release this word to somebody. I want you to, to start treating your job differently. I want you to start treating your problem differently. I want you to start treating your life differently. There's someone right now, you have a, you have a child who's at crash. And they were told to uh, uh, to buy uniforms at Krish. And the uniforms are a, you know, the, 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 the quality is not nice. You could spend the rest of the month complaining that your child's Krish has, uh, uh, has, has uniforms that are very poor quality. Or you could go look for the right quality and say to them, so, say to them listen, I'm willing to do the uniforms for you. I'm willing to provide the, the uniforms for these kids. Warmer jerseys, warmer tracksuits. The problem with you is that you always look at problems as problems. You've never in your life looked at, at problems as opportunities. Your, your, your mind has never been creative enough to, to break out of the box. Who am I speaking to this morning? Somebody says, no, don't, don't go to the owners of the crash. Up, up, approach the parents. <laughs> <laughs> I like your mind. I like your mind, oh. I like it. <laughs> they say, don't go to the owner. No, the owner is also making money. You go to the parents. You say, listen, I have an alternative. It is better quality. The, 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 it's, it's raining in Jobek. Uh, uh, your little bambinos are, are, are very cold in these small, little, poor quality things. Go to the parents and begin to porch. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, prayer governors. But I love the way you think. I want someone this morning to say, Lord, give me the ability to break out of boxes. I said I'm an engineer, but here I am borrowing money every month. I said I'm a lawyer, but here I am. The money is not making sense. Uh, you, you made me a, a, a pastor in my local church. And, and Lord, I'm watching other people develop these creative ideas that are, that are allowing people, that are allowing visibility over their ministries. And they started to grow. They started to flourish. Do you know that even in the preaching of the gospel, there is a certain layer of creativity that God can give you? There is a certain layer of creativity that God can give you. There is a particular man of God. Who wrote a book about relationships? Hello, somebody. He's he, he, he's in the West. Hello, somebody. I, I don't say names here. You know me. One thing, you, you can fault that man for a lot of things. I actually don't listen to the man at all. But I know as a person who is in the media space, in the content creation space, that you can fault that man for a lot of things, but you can't fault him for creativity. <laughs> he, is, he is trending every month. Every other week he's trending for something creativity. God can give you creativity in whatever place he has planted you. He can give you creativity that allows you to be visible. That allows you to be visible. I remember we used to stay in Cape Town and we used to stay in the CBD with my husband. And there was this particular uh, salon. It's called Esther Hair Salon. I don't know if, if, if South Africa, there's some, uh, if you're South African, you likely know this person. She's a girl. I've never seen a woman who can sell a, a weave like that girl. I've never seen a, a, a because she found a way to merge her, her, her com, com, comedic approach to business. She's, she's a comedian of sorts and she makes you laugh with her skits. But while you're laughing, you also just subscribe to her, uh, to her, to, 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 to her Facebook page. I think she is one of those people that that's right. Somebody in the comment se section says, I know her. Her name is Esther. She used to stay right underneath our, 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 our block of, uh, apartments when we were living in Cape town, we used to stay at a, at a, at a block of flats called the St. George's flats. It was in CBD. 
and Esther here, Salon was right underneath. I don't know if it's still there. Do you know that there are some weekends where, where we would struggle to get out of the house? We just want to go for coffee somewhere. We, we want to go for a walk with our little boy, with our little babies. We want to go for a stroll. And there would be people blocking our, our, our entrance because this woman was selling hair. This woman was selling the same hair that those people on that corner are selling. She was selling hair that those people on that other corner are selling. Maybe her hair was even more expensive. I don't know. I'm not in the weave space. But she had found creativity in the way that she did business. Prayer governors, I pray over you. May God give you creative solutions to your problems. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tell yourself I'm not ordinary. Tell yourself I, I I have no limits. I have no boxes. Tell yourself if there is if the if the door is crowded, I will make a way through the roof. Tell yourself my desperation is leading me into a space where if there is no way, I'm creating a way. Tell yourself I will not be limited by my title because there are some people who are making more money in their side hustles while you are laughing at them. Hello, somebody. Tell yourself in ministry, I, 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 I am not a boring, ordinary preacher. Tell yourself as a, as a servant of God, if God gives me a unique way to deliver a message, I will deliver it. Hello, somebody. Tell yourself I am not ordinary. Wherever God has planted me, I have a creative mind. I have a creative mind. A creative mind sees opportunity where other people don't see opportunities. A creative mind is able to make a way. A creative mind will stop murmuring and complaining and crying. A creative mind says, Lord, give me a way. I want someone to lift up their voice this morning and I want you to pray fervently and cry out to God. You know exactly the area I was tackling in your life. Some of you, you're going through some things in relationships that need creativity. God bless you, Convos, with Mimi, a subscriber. That's a way of partnering with the platform and saying, thank you so much. Um, we partner up with the work you're doing. I need somebody to make a prayer this morning and say, Lord, give me a creative way of dealing with this issue that I'm facing in business. I need somebody to make a prayer this morning. Lord, give me a creative way in corporate to navigate through these corporate hurdles that I'm facing on my way to my next level. I want you to lift up your voice and, 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 and cry out to the Lord. Lord, give me a creative mind that carries creative solutions in the matchless name of Jesus. Begin to lift up your voice, prayer governor. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Ora kadeba yande kadiba seke veke diba. Areke de besinda na na makosa kadiba la posa. In places where others have given up, we shall not give up. In places where others have gone out of business, we will not go out of business. In places where others came with their sick. And they found no way to step into the house where Jesus is. We will look for a way. We will go up the roof and we will make a way. In the matchless name of Jesus. In places where people have given up. In places where people have put in the towel, in places where people have been frustrated, in places where others are complaining, I want to make a pronouncement that it shall not be unto us, prayer governors. It shall not be unto our households. In the matchless name of Jesus, this morning God is releasing a new fresh wind of creativity over our businesses, a fresh wind over our marriages, a fresh wind over our relationships, a fresh wind over our children at school a fresh wind over us as leaders god is giving us supernatural creative ways to solve problems in the matchless name of jesus
Give us a creative mind this morning. Give us a creative mind this morning. Give us the mind of Christ. Azeva kota lebra kosa eprakada bayaka sheke. We are never in a corner. We are never out of options. Azeve ke dabala bro sheke diba. We are never out of solutions. We are never out of alternatives. We are never out of choices. In the matchless name of Jesus, this morning I want to pray that Father, you are giving us a mind that is filled with possibility. A mind that is filled with courses of action. A mind that is filled with alternatives. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, break us out of limitations. Break us out of barriers. Areas, break us out of roadblocks. Somebody was hopeless this morning, but I pray that as they step out of this time of prayer, that Father, you are going to infuse in them new hope and new courage. You are infusing new solutions for their business. You are infusing new solutions for their ministry. Give them a creative mind this morning. Give us all creative minds in the name of Jesus. We pray for our spouses as they step into corporate spaces this Monday morning. Give them minds that are creative. Minds that are able to see opportunity and possibility where others are not able to see opportunity. In the matchless name of Jesus, Azikata la bro seke ziva kadia, alaka debe yaka de ya soka. A mind that is able to conceptualize solutions, a mind that brings with it an advantage. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, if there is no way. Father, if the way is crowded, give me the capacity to find and make a new way. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, give me a mind that is not limited. Our second prayer point, prayer governors, Father, if, if, if you have been feeling like you have been given up so quickly, help me to stay in the game. Help me to stay in the game long enough to know that power has been made available. Help me to stay in the game long enough to know that power has been made available. Some of you, you just need to stay in a place long enough to see opportunity. But you give up so quickly. But I want you to pray for yourself. Pray for your heart. Lord, help me. Help me. Help me to stay long enough in places to see opportunity. Help me to stay in places long enough to see solutions. Help me to stay in places long enough to develop the courage to break the walls. And to develop new ways. Help me in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for our, our households. We pray for our loved ones. We pray for our spouses this morning. We pray, Father God, for ourselves, our businesses, our ministries. The places where you have planted us. Father, in the areas where we had been given up hope. In the places where it was so easy for us to just give up. I pray in the name of Jesus that as we begin a new week, you are giving us the ability to find solutions. But not just the ability. The ability to stay long enough in a place to actually begin to see opportunity in the name of Jesus. I pray for those that are backtrodden. I pray for those that are frustrated. I pray for those that are easily discouraged. I pray this morning that you give them a long staying spirit. I pray, Father God, that you give them the ability to stay long enough in a place for you to whisper solutions from heaven. In the matchless name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Prayer governors, our third prayer point is, Lord, activate the part of my brain, the side of my brain that is creative. Activate the side of my brain that is creative. I want specifically, if you've always said to yourself, I'm not, a, I'm, not, I'm, not a, I'm not an entrepreneur. I don't know how to sell. 
I don't know how to create anything. I don't know how to start a company. I don't know. You've always given yourself these limitations. I want you to say, Father, this morning as I am on this prayer portal, as I am on this altar of prayer, I pray in the name of Jesus that may you activate my mind for creativity. I want it said of me that I created something. I want it said of me that I built something. I want it said of me. I, I, I'm seeing some of you even prophetically that you are going to be in. It's like you are in systems that are set up by somebody, but you are, they call them, they call them intrapreneurs. They call them intrapreneurs in corporate. They call them intrapreneurs, which means that you are you are in the company, but you are also exercising your, your entrepreneurial skills in that company in such a way that you will be able to even create a, a, a space. The, the, the company is going to give you an opportunity. I see somebody, the, the Lord is saying to you, the company will even give you opportunities to create your own agency. Your own, your own company that will th then become a service provider for the company. So now, that's right. So now you are in someone's vision because you don't like creating your own. Ne? You don't, you don't like creating your own. So you are now in the safety of someone's vision. You can get a salary, but you also have an opportunity to provide certain services as an intrapreneur. As an intrapreneur. So I want you to say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, activate the part of my mind that is creative. Activate the power. Let, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost begin to rejuvenize the part of my brain that had been slumbering and sleeping. Begin to activate the part of my brain that is active. I want to be a solution bearer. I want to be known as a solution bearer. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray prayer governors. This is our final prayer point. So I want you to travail. I want you to lift up your voice. Azika davaleko rakadi bayande. Azaka de belebe ko sakadi ba rakade. Empra kodi ba sakadi ba yekete sika. Intana makosa adiba la cross e vika dabaya andeke. In the matchless name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus. Aseke veke de be yanda kadia. Father, in the name of Jesus, activate every corner of my brain, every corner of my mind that has not been making the fullest use of the creative grace that you have placed upon my life in this season. Father, activate a new dimension of creativity. Activate a new dimension of creativity that allows me to see opportunity even in the most difficult of places, even in the most uh, uh, toughest of places. In the matchless name of Jesus, I pray in the, G in the name of Jesus. That this morning you are baptizing some people with a new grace, grace for creativity in ministry, grace for creativity in business, grace for creativity in their relationships, grace for creativity in their marriages, grace for cre creativity in their households, grace for creativity in their parenting. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, receive a new grace for creativity. Receive a new grace for creativity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Whew. I am feeling like this morning power was made available for someone's mind to change. I'm feeling like this morning power was made available for someone's mentality to shift. I am feeling like this morning power was made available for somebody's life to change completely in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. I want you to just congratulate yourself by faith this morning. If I have somebody that is a testimony who says, woman of God, today's word was for me. I want you to just request, I want to get two people. We've got four minutes before we leave. I, 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 I need somebody. I can see in the comment section people are saying this was for me. Congratulations to me and my household. This was for me. I want to hear a testimony. Woman of God, when you were speaking, the Lord said something to me. Woman of God, as you were speaking, this is what this is what happened to me. Congratulations, congratulations. Let me know where you're ca calling from, Ponzi. Um, and she is with us. 
Morning, morning, woman of God. Morning, um, prayer governors. Morning, Good morning. Good morning. Listen, I was listening to your um to the live while driving my son home, and I son home, son to work, and I think I was probably irritating him because all I was saying is like, aim, like it's like you were prophesying, to, woman of God. I don't have a testimony, but I am coming back with a testimony with yes. this word. I am this like literally, I've had this business idea that will break barriers and with this word confirms it and it was like god saying you see i told you go do it so wow. i am going to do it i am coming back with a testimony a huge testimony mm -hmm. from your word and i think i even commented here that you know what i am going to download and save this word and whenever i feel the evil spirit of doubt coming onto me i'm going to say what did Rotendo say what did God say through Rutendo? Like, come on, I am not, I'm not sleeping on this one. This one, I am coming back with a testimony on. I know the Holy Spirit was definitely speaking to me because I was like, hey, hallelujah, come on. And then he was like, mommy, you are making noise. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I like, I'm, I'm feeling, I was feeling it would do. This one was direct. Even though I joined late, I'm going to listen to it from the beginning. I'm going to listen, but whenever, whatever I got, literally, it like hit a nerve that I never thought was there. So thank you, thank you, thank you for the Holy I Spirit love it. for using you. And I thank love you for it. The word today. I thank you very much. I love it for you. And we're expecting mm -hmm. that testimony. And I love that it shifted something inside of your spirit. Sometimes God will come to make you uncomfortable with your current status quo. So he can tell you, listen, I know you've been, you, you keep praying for financial breakthrough. You keep praying for miracle money, but listen, you have everything. Power had been made available for the, for the sick man to be healed. Power has been made available. You have things inside of you that you can make use of, that you can access, that can take you out of this very dire situation. Congratulations, Tina. Let me know your testimony and where you're connecting from. Congrats. Good morning. Let me know where you're connected from and let me know your testimony. Share with us your testimony this morning. Good morning. Good morning. I can hear you, Tina. I'm connecting from Nigeria. I've been following your life just that when you pray in the morning, I always have a breakthrough, more favor, more connections coming my way. I really appreciate it. In the Amen. morning, in the morning, I wake up. Morning, I will see you online for me to join. I really appreciate. Thank you. Glory, glory to God. Glory to Amen. God. Thank you so much. I'm encouraged to hear that, Tina. God bless you. Let's see if we can grab someone to come. Congratulations, congratulations to you and your household. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Let me know where you're connecting from and do share your testimony with us. Good morning, women of God. Good morning, Good morning. prayer governors. Morning. I'm connecting from Deben, South Africa. My name is Ellen. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so happy for this life today. I felt that it was speaking to me. Mm -hmm. I've, I've just been joining this for a month for this uh, life and it's been helping me a lot. I just want to thank you, women of God. I feel this life was specially for me because uh, I, I just gave birth. Like I have a four-month baby and I'm seated at home. I just left my job and then my job was saying that like, I cannot go back to work because of the baby and stuff. But mm. I've been creative at home and I, but I was mm. doubting myself that I cannot do this. But I'm doing business. I just started... I stay in a small house. I started and I just put a small saloon at the corner in my house. I'm a stylist. I'm doing it. But I, I needed assurance and I got this assurance from you, women of God. Thank you so much. Thank I'm, you so I'm, much. I'm I going to do this. You. I'm not going back to work. I'm going to do this. I have the creativity that I was wanting. Thank you so much, women of in God. In the name of Jesus. Wow. Amen. Wow for you 
Wow, we're standing in faith with you that God is going to just breathe a wind of visibility over your new business in the name of Jesus. Amen. And shock you. Completely Amen. Shock you. Amen. I receive. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Wow. I respect any person who has the courage to start something new. I respect, respect, because I know that stuff is not easy. It's difficult. Sometimes it's very scary. Sometimes you're the only person in your family who's ever opened a business. You have no reference point. You have no one to call. You have no net you have no connections but god is going to be your connection in jesus mighty name marcia congratulations where are you connecting from and do share your testimony concerning today's word with us good mornings um this morning you just confirmed where i am in my life you know i've started doing my own business and um god has really been just opening my creative side uh, when it comes to my business because I want to create my own product and everything and it's just been confirmation this morning for me wow. honestly confirmation thank you woman of God for this word I am so happy to hear that Marsha go in this thy anointing may the Lord anoint you for the job may the Lord equip Amen. you with the job may he broaden your shoulders so that you're Amen. able to carry that comes with that with that particular business that you are creating in jesus mighty and wonderful name i'm excited in my spirit the lord came for some people today hello hello somebody the lord, love it for us congratulations uh malebo how are you do share your testimony with us hi women of god how are you i am awesome how are you i'm fine i'm fine thank you for asking i've been watching you actually i think maybe since from it's two weeks now yeah two weeks listening to you every time when you speak so apparently today you were speaking to me actually like you were talking about uh we need to be creative in the regardless of uh if we do to go high if you're not working and then you need to come uh, creativity and everything so it happened me long i lost my job last year november so after losing my job i decided no i can't just sit down i've got a car that i need to pay and then actually i'm about to finish it to pay it uh installment on july so i decided to register my car into a bolt can you believe after working very nicely and then you end up seeing yourself working in a ball driver like a taxi driver can you believe so i thank you so much for like for telling me hurry what i did actually i did it a good decision i take a good decision because like sometimes i feel discouraged i used to discourage myself for no it's again what i'm doing actually i don't deserve to be here but then i don't have a plan I don't have a plan, but then I thank God for your weight. Like, you really touched me. Encouraged to hear that. Amen. Encouraged. And we are never too big and for anything. Too. That place God is planted. There is going to be grace. And as you are there, when God sees that you are working the hand you have been given, He will continue to open up even more opportunities. Open up your, your eyes to see some of the problems that you're seeing on that bolt. You might even get another business as you're doing that bolt. Do you see? Do you see what I'm saying? So opportunities Amen. are always around us. It is the mind, the creative mind that is able to see those opportunities and maximize on them. So congratulations to you, my neighbor, and may the Lord continue to sustain you in this season. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, amen and amen. Wow, these testimonies, these testimonies. Let's see if we can get somebody else to say. There's so many of you right now. There's 16 people that want to testify. So <laughs> I won't be able to get through all of you, but I also just just want to touch a, a couple of more i want to touch a couple of more okay so this person is actually not there let's see if we can get jan so somebody saying i wish i could get this session you can get the session on it will be made available from 12 p.m it will premiere again rebroadcast again at 12 p.m so we have a youtube channel called house 
of hosting heaven, house of hosting heaven. Um, so you can get access to this exact same word uh, rebroadcasted there today. Congratulations, Jan. Uh, where are you connecting from? And is that your Baba um, right there? Yes, he's uh, 13. Well, he is three weeks old. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. Congratulations to you and your household on that, uh, on your little bambinos. We celebrate with you. Do you have a testimony concerning today's word? I actually just joined in and, you know, I just want to say, I just want to thank the Lord for everything he's given me mm -hmm. and everything that he's doing in my life. I know uh, we have so much more to do, especially mm -hmm. in the time and season that we're in. But I just want to put my hopes in the Lord for every single blessings. Because sometimes we don't see the blessings. We might think, oh, this is just another hiccups. Mm -hmm. But it's, it is actually disguised as a blessing. That's right. So good. So, so good. We celebrate with God with you um, for what he's doing in your family um, and um, just trusting the Lord for you and your family as you go further. Thank you so much for connecting, Jan, um, and just testifying and, and giving thanks to the Lord. Amen. 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 Beautiful, beautiful little bambino there. Ah, oh, so lovely. So precious. Um, Let's see if we can get Shatla to, to also testify. Let's see. I got a couple of minutes. Let's just see uh, if we can get a couple of more testimonies. Uh, congratulations. Where are you connecting from? And do share your testimony with us today. Non Shatla, are you there? Hi there, Non Shatla. All right, Nutlantla is not there. We're gonna have somebody else. Spee, um, Spee, congratulations. Where you can from and do share your testimony with us concerning today's session. Uh, Spee, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Uh, speak and you hear us. All right. All right. Speak is not available. Let's get a letter. Hallelujah. Thank you, King of Glory. Someone says, I'm unable to join, but I wanted to say thank you. I got the job. Thank you, Father God. Wow, 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 wow. Congratulations, Daily Prayer. The Daily Prayer, if you remember the Daily Prayer, uh, testified recently. Great with you. Congratulations, Prayer Governor. Hello, somebody. And if someone is looking for a job, I want you to touch and agree with that word and with that testimony and just say, Lord, I connect. I connect. Aleta, uh, congratulations. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am awesome. I can hear you perfectly. Please do share your testimony and let us know where you're connecting from. Thank you. I'm connecting from Namibia. I woke up so early today just to come and listen to your live. Mostly, I always miss it every morning. So today, I put my mind that I'm going to listen to this live today. So today's message is like it was talking about me. It was really powerful and I thank God that I made it. It's like God said, you have to be there. You have to listen. This is about you. This is you. She's going to talk about. And I'm, 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 I'm like that message is like was strictly speaking about me. I'm someone who give up so easily. I've been through up and down. I have a business that does not work and so on. And I've worked with people who just like bring me down and so on. But uh, I was like afraid to leave because sometimes, you know, when working with customers, you get uh, customers from those people and so on. Then you'll be like, oh, if I leave, I'm going to suffer and so on. But it's like God said, I know the road is not going to be easy, but you have to get out of this situation. It's not healthy for you. You have to go. It's not going to be easy, but you have to go. Mm. So I decided to leave everything behind and start a new beginning. Mm. So now I'm looking forward to my new beginning and I'm looking forward to a creative mind. 
So I'm going to pray to God to give me a creative mind to look forward and think of something that I can do where I have a peaceful mind and a peaceful life. So thank you for today's message. It was really powerful. Thank you for speaking. Thank you for speaking to me and everyone in this life. Ah, thank you so much. Congratulations to you. And thank you for sharing your testimony with us. Uh, may the Lord lead you where he's taking you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, let's get our last last person to testify. Still 19 people wanting to testify. There's so many of you, so much that God is doing. And it's so exciting to Hello. be like, Hello. Where are you connecting from? I'm from Jobek Binoni. How are you, woman of God? I, I am well. I am well, my wonderful woman. Uh, please do share your testimony with us. You're the last person to testify today. Oh, I thank God so much. Uh, your word of today, I, it's just uh, encouraged me a lot. And uh, I've decided to, I, I think you remember me, you talked to me on on my inbox telling me what are you doing are you into business and the like so so that but won't today be my, my oh, lovely lady that would not be me that yeah. that would not be me there is people going around sending messages to people so i would i would not send you a message via inbox unfortunately i wish it was me i want you to send now i want you to send me an email and i want to schedule a zoom call with you so i can properly talk to you because the person you have been talking to is not me yeah i end up not answering i thought maybe it's not you so right now i'm talking to you and i thank god that uh, your words really turned me uh, to another side i come out of the box and i'm going to be creative and i'm going to do something good uh, may god bless you you are really encouraging people Thank you so much, Ma. I am so incredibly encouraged. And please send me an email. Let's try to uh, get a call, a proper call. Um, and anytime someone gives you a word via DM and then they tell you send money to an NGO, send money to me, you are not talking to me. You are, you are certainly, if I'm in your DMs, you are not talking to me. I, I, uh, it, it's not me, but I celebrate you. Thank you so very much. And let's make sure that we connect. So I'll be expecting your email. Yeah, I will email and you and we talk more. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. It's wonderful to hear from you. So many, ah, my, my heart is now broken. Why? to be prayer governors. So many of you want to testify today. What do I do with myself? What do I do with myself? Okay, let's see if we can get one. Congratulations, darling. Do you have a testimony, a quick one? Bonang, are you there? Hello. Bonang, Melody here. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Thank you very much, Melody. Wonderful. T do you have a testimony concerning today's session? Um, concerning today's session, I just, uh, I, I joined late, uh, but I just want to, to testify that, um, since I started listening to your teachings, to your, to your words, they are so encouraging. And as a woman, they've, um, really encouraged me just to, to, to stand, uh, on my feet to be able to do exactly what the, the Lord wants me to do, to be attentive. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm really, really thankful for, for God to be using you in this amazing way. Thank you so very much, Bonan. I'm, I'm super encouraged. Some people are saying, please just schedule a day for nothing but testimonies. A day in the week where we come to just hear what the Lord is saying. And you know, sometimes you're struggling with something and we have over 250 prayers on our YouTube platform. And you don't know what specific uh, sermon to, to look for. Maybe this can be a great opportunity for people to say, you know what, I'm also struggling with the same matter. I didn't know she preached about it. Uh, so we're going to try, let's test that one out. Let's test that one out. Mm. What do you think, Bonang? 
very 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 much true that that, that would be great because um people will come out because if if we give out our testimonies god is glorified Amen. if we give testimonies we are also uh helping another person saying oh so this is waking this maybe the person will be uh joining for the first time to listen to and then they will honestly continue listening so that they also get edified absolutely that that would be very great yeah absolutely thank you so much for sharing your testimony we we truly truly appreciate thank it that is such a great idea and maybe we can then load the video on youtube and you know i know you can now do something called timestamps on youtube so we can say this testimony is connected to this preaching then we write it down in the description testimony on financial breakthrough uh, and then we say, listen to this YouTube channel, YouTube, YouTube uh, prayer, uh, testimony uh, for barrenness. Listen to this so that if somebody is looking for a specific prayer, they can just scroll through their mouse and look for whatever issue they are dealing with. And then they can actually get reference about it in the comment section. I think that's such a great idea. And the Bible says they overcame by the blood of Jesus and the word, blood of the lamp and the word of their testimony. So someone might just be looking for encouragement to know that they need to keep holding on. So I think we're going to try to make time for that one. Let's, let's certainly make time for that one. Prayer governors, we are way beyond time. Uh, there's still 18 people that need to testify, but I, I just pray that you get an opportunity in uh, either tomorrow or, the, or this anytime this week in the coming days in jesus mighty and wonderful name god bless you god bless you god bless you and i speak a blessing into your week i speak a blessing over your household i speak a blessing over your family may you be the head and not the tail may you be above and not be beneath may you be uh, those that led and not those that borrow may the lord meet you at every point of need that you have in this week according to his great riches and glory you will not lack any any good thing may the lord satisfy your mouth with good things in jesus mighty and wonderful name i pray for you amen and amen prayer governors congratulations see you again tomorrow morning right here same place same time for a time of prayer amen and amen